Hi guys, in this next part of texturing and in this part we will finish uh, texturing the, the bark. So first thing I do is uh, I go to window and I click toggle window full screen so I have more space. Then I select uh, bark, I right click and I shade it smooth. Now we can actually go to texture paint tab and now go to material tab add new uh, let's name it bark and uh, let's see we can make a new texture for the bark let's call it bark underscore color we can change the color to some brownish dark brown and let's click OK uh, as you can see there is no color because we have to go to shading and here click shift A to add uh, image texture and let's connect the output to base color and change the texture to base color and now we have the texture I think there's a way to to skip the shading part but I forgot how to do it okay never mind so yeah let's start drawing we can hide uh, the lips so we can draw it easier so let's go to object mode and click shift H and now you have the bark only go back to texture paint mode and now okay we have the base color and first thing is to adding some variants so let's change to darken so let's change to darken brush that we created in the previous part let's change the color to something like brown so we can pick the color from the mesh and now let's start painting the part but as you can see there's some problem because uh, the color doesn't show up yeah only sometimes it show up but you can see that the color is on the texture so uh, to solve this problem I think there's a, the the normals are inverted so we have to invert the vertex so if you go to edit mode you select everything and you click ctrl shift n it should make your normals consistent so now if you go back to texture paint mode you can see that yeah it works now Okay, so now we can start painting. So add some lines. Don't don't worry how they look now because they are only for the color color variant. So we want to add so, as much colors variants as we can. So now we will draw dark lines and then we will draw bright lines and then we'll blur them together. If if the specular is uh, making your model hard to see you can just go to solid view mode and y here you can see better the the mesh and you can go also to shading and turn off specular lightning so you'll have no lightning on your bark and this will be the easiest i think to draw on so draw dark, dark lines uh, you can draw on all your bark but I, I draw only to, to this part because only this will be visible so now after you've done this go to uh, brighten brush and change the color of course and now you can start adding some lines
okay so after you've done this part let's go to smear brush and we can start smearing those lines downwards or upwards Okay guys, so I think I finished mine and as you can see it already looks good on your model and you, you can leave it like as it is now because it, I think it looks like a wood already but uh, I want to add more details but I think this, this looks very nice and then you just can leave it like this if, if you like this style. But I will add some more details, so let's move to the second part. Before that, remember to save the image of the texture because... Yeah, bark that, that color, because we will lose everything that we, we drew before, so remember to do that. Uh, let's change to darken brush, and uh, not here, here. Change to darken brush, and now we want to draw lines that will show where the gaps will be so so I want my my bark to be made of like long planks of wood so I will make long lines like this and you can make them stronger so let's change the strength and as you can see this will be the gap between the planks so just draw them and you can mix mix them like this and just do it on all over your bark Okay guys, so after you've done painting your cracks, we can add some light information now. So let's add some highlights. So go to Brighten Brush and we can draw all over the edges of the cracks that we drew before the, the, the highlights. So this will look more like it it is popped out so we can make it stronger even and just draw the same shapes
Okay, guys, so <clears throat> I finished uh, the highlights. Uh, they are not perfect, they are very, very, very rough, as you can see. But you can blur everything with blur pencil. The strength to very high, and you can blur the edges, the high, uh, hard edges if you want. But uh, I think I will not do it. I will just leave it like this because this is stylized. So yeah, it's on on style. So. Uh, after you've done highlights, you can add additional layer of uh, highlights so you can make your brush even brighter and only in few places add some uh, highlights like this. So as you can see this is very uh, prominent. I don't know how to say it, I think it's, it's called prominent and it, it stands out very well. And you can add it to only few places, don't add it everywhere because nothing will be uh, prominent. Just add it to some few places that you want your user to look at. So I, I, I want them to look at this long wood plank. So I highlight it here and you can also do the same with darken. So if you want very deep uh, cracks you can add additional layer of darkness between the planks so as you can see yeah it's very dark in here so it adds more depth and you can add it where wherever you want if you want deeper cracks you can add it here for example and you just keep doing the same just keep refining your your work so after after you've done this we can add some more cracks on on the wood planks so again go to dark brush and now you can add some i don't know uh, cracks on your wood for example like this and after you add some cracks go to brighten and do the same but draw it draw the highlights at, at the edge of the cracks so it will pop more so as you can see we have some cracks or scratches so keep keep repeating the steps on all your uh, on all your planks. I usually do it with dark brush first, so I define where the cracks should be. And after I've done everything, I just change to brighten brush like you saw before, and just. Uh, adding some highlights on the cracks. Okay, so I think I, I added cracks and now change to brighten and add some highlights. Yeah, as you can see, you, you don't have to be very precise uh, from far distance, no one will notice it. So you don't have to be very precise, but if, if you do, just, just be precise, but I'm lazy. And I, I won't be that precise, I will be very rough. So I'll draw very light, uh, I will draw very fast lines. The br your brain is smart enough to mix the colors together, so you don't have to worry about that.
Okay, so uh, I think yeah, it looks a bit better, uh, a bit better with cracks, but they are not so that visible. You can make them bigger, longer, and uh, more visible if you like. But uh, I don't have time for it, so we can move to the next part. But I think it, it looks better with cracks. Okay, so uh, after this part, we go to the final part, which is adding a, a gradient. So let's move to fill bucket, like before. I change the color to brownish, dark brown. On the left side handle too. So we have this gradient let's change to front view and drag from bottom to top oh it's too much drag you can drag it halfway okay so the bottom is more dark now remember to change the blend mode to multiply so it will be darker and darker and if you want it to be brighter just change to Screen and you can drag from top to bottom and you can see that we have the top is bright and the bottom is uh, dark and the middle is yeah the middle so I think this looks interesting and I think we finished so let's go to object mode let's re-enable leaves okay and let's go to look dev mode Okay, I think it looks nice. As you can see, there's a specular that is hitting our bark, but we will get rid of it in, in the rendering section. But as you can see, it, it looks nice for now. I think the bark is okay. So remember to save the image. So, uh, wow, click Alt S to save it. So I think that it is guys and in the next part we will start render rendering this tree and maybe I will put it in the game engine too so goodbye guys and uh, let me know in the comments uh, what would you what would you yeah, what you would like to see in the future tutorials because yeah, I, I think that I will do one series, but uh, it will be more related to actually making games. So yeah, I, I think it will be fun. And also I, I want to show you my, my game that I'm working on right now. So yeah, goodbye guys.